hello friends we were discussing uh, principal value of argument okay or principal argument and in the previous lecture i told you that if the point is in the first quadrant then principal value is 10 inverse mod b by a second quadrant then it is pi minus 10 inverse b by a third quadrant it is 10 inverse mod b by a minus pi and in the fourth quadrant it is minus 10 inverse mod b by a okay let's use it for the previous question okay so suppose again 1 plus i 1 minus i minus 1 plus i n minus 1 minus i in each of the above cases tan inverse of mod b by a will be tan inverse either it will be 1 upon 1 or minus 1 upon 1 okay so minus will be absorbed and each time you will get tan inverse 1 which is equal to pi by 4 okay so let's see if it is the first quadrant then the point was 1 plus i and principal argument will be tan inverse 1 which is equal to pi by 4 if it is the second quadrant then the point will be minus 1 plus i okay and theta will again be tan inverse 1 pi minus tan inverse 1 so it is 3 pi by 4 just compare the answer that we got okay if it is the third quadrant then we will get minus 1 minus i and theta will be tan inverse 1 minus pi and you will get minus 3 pi by 4 and if it is the fourth quadrant then it will be 1 minus i and theta will be minus of 10 inverse 1 so minus 5 minus pi by 4 just check this is exactly what we got we use the concept of the rotation and clockwise and anti-clockwise and it was a bit lengthy but using these four expression it becomes very easy so please remember this expressions and it and it will become extremely easy for you to solve any of the argument problem okay so what will be the argument of a purely imaginary number so let us say argument of i i told you that any purely imaginary number lies on the y-axis i told you in the very um, uh, first lecture that any purely imaginary number lies on the y-axis any purely imaginary number lie any purely real number lies on the x-axis so argument of i i this will lie here point one so the complex number is this so the argument will be clearly you can see pi by 2 what will be the argument of minus i now this point will lie here minus 1 and so argument will be minus pi by 2 okay don't say the argument will be this thing 3 pi by 2 because 3 pi by 2 is greater than pi and in principal value the value should lie between minus pi to plus pi so it will be minus pi by 2 what will be the argument of 2 so 2 is a real number it will lie here so it's this is the complex number so what is the angle that this complex number is making with the positive direction of x-axis 0 because it is parallel to the positive direction of x-axis so its argument will be 0 and what will be the argument of let us say minus 2 so the point will be here so the angle will be pi okay you can say pi you can say minus pi it doesn't matter okay so this is it this was the basic ideas let us solve one question find principal value for z is equal to 2 upon 1 plus i let us say this is the complex number <coughs> now here we know that first of all we have to see that point lies in which quadrant and then we'll choose any of the one of the formulas the four formulas that i have given you 
so we need to find b we need to find a and we also need to know the coordinates that we can easily get by knowing b and a but this is not in standard form so what is required to be done we have to rationalize this so let's rationalize z will be equal to 2 upon 1 plus i in rationalization we multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator this will be 2 minus 2i and any complex number when it is multiplied by its conjugate we, we, we get the real part of complex number square plus imaginary part of complex number square just uh, view my previous lecture I have covered this in detail so we will get 1 plus 1 so this will be 2 1 minus i upon 2 this is 1 minus i now this is a standard complex number now tell me b is negative and a is positive so what is the quadrant if b is negative and a is positive then this is the fourth quadrant so what will be the uh, principal value principal value will be minus of tan inverse mod b by a so minus tan inverse 1 because minus 1 upon 1 is minus 1 and mod value of minus 1 is 1 so this is minus pi by 4 so the principal value is minus of pi by 4 okay so these are some of the basic ideas of argument and in the next video lecture we'll cover some new topic okay and uh, stay tuned uh, after I cover the basic theory I'll be solving questions of the level of JE main and JE advanced so don't worry we'll solve a lot of problems and we'll see how these concepts that I've told you they actually work and how to apply those concepts in actual problems okay so stay tuned subscribe like and thanks for watching